welcome back my uh, gardening friends uh, you caught me out you've come a little bit early but I must get this finished so I've just put a few uh, log ashes down around um, the uh, fruit bushes I've run out of three year old wood chips to mulch the plants so I'm going to uh, use uh, my uh, two year old uh, leaf mould and all the goodness we put on top the, uh, the worms will drag down The wood chips are about the only thing that aren't frozen at the moment and it looks like it's just going to get up to one degree today so other things to do i'll put you on pause and record ah. Doesn't that look better? I must say the uh, leaf mulch uh, does a better job than the uh, wood chips, but uh, not a problem. What do you want, Mr. Robin? You can't get in. Oh dear, the door is shut. No, that looks uh, a lot better. Pleased with that. Right, let's go and show you what we was uh, here to see in the first place. And uh, just before we do, if you remember, I had a roll of uh, weed membrane here. Uh, it's about four meters wide by whatever was left that we found in the skip and uh, it miraculously turned into this. It always helps to help others. I'll make good use of those. So what you're really here for is the um, gravity fed Gutter, uh, wick guttering system uh, we've got rainwater guttering all the way around you'll be able to see that shortly you can see a little bit there where we pulled uh, one of the pots out so I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up in here get all this gone harvest the rest of these peppers they're looking really sad now so I'm going to take the rest whether they're ready or not and uh, we'll see uh, see what it looks like and see what remedials we need to do to it Uh, so throughout uh, the summer I've had these bricks on just to uh, protect the uh, ball cock uh, and this area from light as you can see uh, there's a little bit of uh, dirt there and uh, hopefully I remember to switch this off with all this uh, frost but uh, it is working okay and uh, realistically it's uh, fairly clean as you can see it goes all the way around because we've got the pomegranate bush in here I wasn't able to put any containers there so I've blocked that off and as you can see here for some reason it's gone uh, a little bit dirty but considering it's been there probably nine months it ain't done too bad at all and let's say the idea of this is when I sat these on before the actual wood chips were drawing the moisture from out the bags into here and you see you can still see they're a bit damp but it was draining that tank uh, really quickly and uh, all these wood chips are settled i'll top it all up to about there but of course first of all i've got to get this greenhouse clean but trouble is it's uh, where my bench is very dirty and uh, it's something that uh, i've got to do before next year and this is a good as time of year to do it anyway so i've just got to get my brush and uh, give it a good clean so i'll strip all the uh, plastic off for now good morning so i've given those a uh, bit of a clean uh, let the winter uh, finish those off 
and uh, you might just be able to see there the water's actually uh, flowing now so it looks like I didn't switch it off so I'm lucky boy uh, most of it has continued uh, quite uh, reasonably level so there's no adjustments to be made I've took the end piece out now so I can give it a good swell I'll give it a good brush I'm going to saw that uh, off I'm not going to try and dig it out if this was all skew with then yes but uh, I need to get uh, some wood chips under here wood chips at the back so let's have a little play ah, a good hour and a half's job done that includes uh, the uh, footage you saw uh, first thing so uh, that's all nicely done I'm not going to do any more anything else to it till I've cleaned all the glass because no doubt the blackbirds will be in here and kick it absolutely everywhere so I may I may end up putting these back in we'll see but uh, I'll get these back into the uh, greenhouse and I've also got the uh, two pots of uh, New Zealand uh, spinach now this is the spinach we grew last year on the vertical garden and all the seeds uh, are at the back so we'll, uh, they'll germinate when they're ready when the temperatures are right and I've just noticed uh, the uh, snowdrops have just started to uh, pop through and that one won't be long before it shows us a nice flower so these square pots that I found dumped unscrupulously by the cannabis growers came very useful in there because uh, we could uh, pack them in nice and tight and uh, the wicks are there not to dry I've got to wash those but it's a bit cold today for doing anything like that but if you want to see uh, the uh, capillary matting the UZ I think it's called uh, pop to my playlist under product reviews I use that uh, in all my trays uh, and those wicks have worked really well uh, some of them have got really wet and some stay dry on the top so we don't get any weeds but uh, as you work your way down it's uh, wet through exactly well actually wet wet exactly where you want the water to be so we feed from the top and water from the bottom this now will go into my uh, compost bin uh, this is where all the materials from my homemade compost goes and uh, some old bags there drying but you can see there I've been excavating that there and all that material because it's half dry not frozen was sifted into this last uh, pallet collar bin uh, I haven't filled it fully uh, it will sink so uh, the option is uh, to fill it a bit more so I use some of that that compost with some of the cannabis compost with the uh, perlite in and uh, leaf mold and that's the leaf mold that we used earlier now that bin now is uh, just above halfway now left so collecting 20 of those builders bags certainly helped me out uh, on several projects include mulching uh, various beds and uh, a great addition to any growing bed to uh, retain the moisture another one of the jobs for January was to uh, sort this other compost find but uh, anything outside's uh, uh, rock solid and we won't be moving any leaves uh, either I did manage to find one celery that looked half decent we'll give that a go and uh, some of the uh, lemon pepper and uh, curry peppers uh, I will save a few of those uh, for seed won't be growing them this year those uh, were given to me by a fellow plot holder uh, they are a bit hot but uh, I'll put a small amount on my uh, my uh, batch uh, for work and just keep chewing and hoping for the best that it don't burn my mouth too much but I'm getting used to the, the uh, warmer warmer peppers uh, and chilies just got to get used to them uh, these were broken panes of glass and this was intended to feed uh, the grapevines through uh, um, I think I've got one sheet I'll replace that one I haven't got one that size I could cut one but I'm not too fussed and uh, I won't be uh, replacing that one because we've got quite a big branch uh, working its way in and if you ever plant a grapevine it should be planted outside but 
plant it far enough away so that it doesn't grow and start pushing your greenhouse um, but uh, yeah not a problem I, oh no I can't cut that one out because it's there but we'll see I'm thinking about getting uh, a different variety of uh, black grape but if anybody's got any suggestions for uh, black or green grape varieties growing outside please pop them into the comments so overall very impressed with my first attempt uh, a few adjustments before we started growing uh, have I grew them too close together not too sure the peppers did okay celery didn't do very good uh, and the tomatoes uh, were too shady because the grapevine was in here and the uh, pomegranate bush in the corner so having all this washed cleaned open air it is shaded by the holly bushes but uh, we do need a sh bit of shade and we've got good ventilation but I'll be trying uh, a few different things in here alternating them for next year and there should be uh, another video at the start and at the end of this video uh, of uh, a previous video that we did at the beginning of the season but uh, with this one this video you can actually see what I've actually done all recycled and all the costs the valve came from Carl at uh, I can't think of his channel again and uh, we bought um, a, a few connectors that pipe we got uh, for nothing and uh, but yeah Carl sent me that little valve and he was also the chap that sent me uh, the cover for my polytunnel I've just found Carl's channel name it's uh, Phillips Town that's uh, PH Phillips Town no dig allotment and uh, he does comment occasionally uh, pop across to his channel and uh, say hello from me in a previous video we uh, did this path here uh, we've got loads of wood chips up here well we've used some in the fruit cage now I've got a few bags left, there's a few just there, we've run out of three year old leaf mould so it's time to uh, get this path done. So another job done and I'm thinking of using some of this really thick timber that uh, I've been keeping and keeping and keeping to edge the uh, giant uh, cabbage uh, bed uh, I've got a few bags of wood chips left so they can go here well a bag can go here because that hasn't had any wood chips and uh, next year I'll be harvesting the three year old um, wood chips from here and out of the uh, fruit cage that's it now and here's done all I've got to do is set up those green straps to support these but that can be a job for another month like I said earlier everything's uh, frosted up I don't touch the broad beans until they thaw out and they haven't thawed out for two uh, two weeks and silly 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 me I forgot all about these three old wood chips that I took out of the uh, polytunnel. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. A quick update on the sprouts and uh, they are fattening out at the top. And uh, the uh, baby sprout uh, is blown. But we'll leave them. I uh, don't think they will come to anything but I haven't got to remove it. I can leave it there as long as I like. They do look uh, cracking sprouts now, the frost's been on them. The uh, claret sprouting broccoli looking absolutely wonderful. I do keep checking and it might be another four weeks yet before we uh, get anything. But uh, this netting is stopping the pigeons landing uh, on the top and uh, having a feast and spoiling uh, a potential harvest. Hopefully they're not all green and no, uh, no fruit. Now I've got most of the jobs for January done, my next video will be on the polytunnel. It'll be an overall view of what I want to do and what I'm thinking about doing. 
and uh, like always I've had loads and loads of suggestions about double skinning this using the double sided foam and uh, to how uh, to fix this down um, I can't fix it to the curbs because they're all separate they're not actually fixed into the ground so I'm thinking about using these bits of uh, rebar I'm going to take one home I'll probably take it today and see if I can get a hole drilled in that if not I'll just get um, uh, a clamp and uh, fasten it uh, to that wood and uh, thinking about it it'll be on the inside so if I've got half a dozen of those or more they won't go far he says hopefully so happy gardening from a very very frozen uh, allotment gardens in uh, North Warwickshire in the UK till next time my friends ta for now